Joe. I'm with Congressman Gallego. Thanks for joining us. You heard the, the big applause here yeah. when it was announced that the House is going back to Democrats. What does this mean for you moving forward? Well, what it means forward is that the uh, people have spoken. They want us to put a check on this presidency. Uh, and they also probably want us to work with the president. So we're going to look for areas to compromise. And where we can't compromise, uh, then we're going to have to figure out a way to, you know, pull back where the president is trying to overstep his boundaries. Uh, at the end of the day, I think uh, Arizona is doing well. I think you're going to have a, a good sweep. Kirsten Sinema is going. Katie Hobbs is going to win. Kick I.O. is going to win for mayor. We're very proud of the results. Are you saying that <laughs> because uh, you're a Democrat and, look, you're, you're part of the big uh, party here tonight, or are you reading these numbers that may favor Republicans early but then tend to fill in for some Democrats yeah, late? Mean, what do you think? I think the numbers are there. For example, my district had the highest turnout. We're actually approaching 2016 uh, numbers. Uh, a lot of the rural, really conservative areas have uh, reported, uh, and, and McSale is only leading by 10,000 votes. We have a lot of our rural uh, Democratic areas still have reported. And a lot of Maricopa County still has reported, and we know that the ballots come in later are going to favor uh, uh, Kirsten Sinema. So we feel very powerful, very strongly that she's going to win. Uh, we know that Katie Hobbs is going to win. And Kate Gallego right now is at 45% uh, in a strong field, and she's either going to win it outright or she win it uh, in March handily. The superintendent's office could also go Democrat. That's extremely tight. So some tight races. Yeah. As far as Congress goes, are we in for two years of gridlock here? I don't think we necessarily have to. I think the president could look as an opportunity to and we should look at the opportunity to work together. We should not be afraid to reach across the aisle. Now, if, if it doesn't work out, then we could always go back to our fighting positions. But there's opportunity for us to work. Even on immigration reform, which is, I think, something that everyone's really worried about and talking about, there's a way for us to work on that to actually have a solution. Uh, and other areas, that I think, that it would benefit this country. We don't necessarily have to be in a fight. On the issue of the president, you have tweeted that Americans will have wished in the future he was never born. That's harsh, true. harsh rhetoric. Right. Do you regret that, one, and two, going into an era now to possibly negotiate, would you publicly apologize for something like that? I don't regret it yet, and hopefully he'll prove me wrong. I think that's always something that we, uh, I, I hope the president actually does well and does well for this country.